Hello children. Today we are going to discuss chapter number 6 how animals reproduce. So basically it means how animals give birth to their young ones and life goes on. Children, we can see so many things around us and all things in this world can be broadly classified into living and non-living things. and of these things only living things can reproduce they can have babies or young ones of their own children we never see a car giving birth to a baby car or a table giving birth to a baby table so living things such as dogs give birth to puppies cat give birth to kittens or cows give birth to cows all you must be having brothers or sisters at home this means human beings also give birth to young ones which we call babies so this process by which living beings give birth to young ones of their own kind is called reproduction children you just imagine if there is no reproduction there will be no one left on this earth and all life will come to an end so simply we can say that if living things could not reproduce or give birth to their young ones they will just grow old and die if this happens there will be no one to take their place when they are gone so you can say that reproduction is a very important process to keep life going on this planet now we shall move on and learn how living things reproduce basically living things reproduce mainly in two ways they either give birth to their young ones which are similar to them like cow dog or they lay eggs and their young ones comes out from their eggs like chickens birds lizards now we shall study the animals which give birth to their young ones or we can say babies so children have you ever been to a farm if you have visited a farm you must have seen the young ones of buffaloes or cows or must be even in your locality you must have come across cows or buffaloes the babies look similar to their mother and they drink milk from their mother so these kind of animals that give birth to their young ones and feed them on their milk are called mammals you can find lots of examples around you like cats dogs elephants rats horses goats etc we human beings are also mammals because we also give birth to young ones and feed them on our milk some other amazing mammals are also there which you may think are not mammals but they are mammals example bat which fly in the air and looks like a bird but it is also a mammal it is not a bird because it does not lay eggs and does not have feathers like birds instead it has fur another amazing mammals are dolphins and whales they also look like fish and live in the water they also give birth to young ones and feed their babies on their milk we can say basically that mammals take care of their babies for a long time the babies are dependent to their parents for food and care the mother has to feed the baby clean and even protect the baby from dangers as they are very weak the mother has to gradually teach the baby to find its own food for example 
the human baby the human baby is very weak and helpless when it is born so the human parents have to take care or look after their babies for quite a longer period of time than most other mammals now we shall study the animals which lay eggs or you can say which does not give birth to their young ones many animals like birds reptiles fish and insects reproduce by laying eggs and after the egg is laid the baby is developed inside the egg and all the food needed for the baby to develop is contained in the egg itself first we shall study the birds children you must have seen birds in our garden or even in your home and most birds can fly but some birds don't fly and remain on the ground such as chicken ostrich emu etc and all birds lay eggs most birds build their nest and lay their eggs in it and when the egg is laid the female bird sits on the eggs and keep them warm it is because by keeping the egg warm the baby starts to develop inside the egg and when it is fully developed it hatches from the egg and the baby birds comes out this process of sitting on the egg to keep it warm in order to hatch the babies is called incubation most birds take care of its young ones it feeds and teaches them how to fly and fend for itself later on now we shall try to know the characteristics of an egg detail the eggs of birds are either oval shaped or round they can be different sizes and colors such as brown gray blue black etc the eggs have hard shell covering on the outside to protect it the inside of an egg contains of a clear sticky liquid called albumin or the egg white as we commonly know the albumin helps in protecting the growing baby or embryo the inside of an egg also contains a yellow liquid matter which is called a yolk this yolk stores the food for the embryo to develop into a baby bird inside the egg and lastly the embryo is just a tiny blob inside the yolk which later develops into a full grown chick in 21 days so now we can study and learn the stages of development of a chick in the following manner in the first 72 hours of the incubation period the embryo starts to appear as a red blob at 5 days of the incubation the embryo becomes clearer at 7 days large eyes starts to develop at around 10 days of the incubation the wings legs and body are formed at around 18 days the chick is fully formed inside the egg and at around 21 days the chick is ready to hatch it breaks and comes out of the shell now we shall learn about other living things that also lay eggs many of you must be having aquarium where decorative fishes are kept or you must have been to lakes where there are lots of fishes but do you know fishes lays thousands of eggs in the water the eggs of the fishes either stick to rocks aquatic plants or these eggs may simply keep floating these eggs of the fish are called as spawn but even if fishes lays thousands of eggs only a few hatch from these eggs as their parents are not there to take care or look after them 
but unlike the birds they don't incubate their eggs the newly hatched fishes are called fry the fry later grows into adult fishes and they produce again to keep life going next we have the frog like the fishes frog also lays several eggs in water and their eggs are also called sperm just like the fishes the eggs of the frog float in the water and they are protected by a layer of jelly these eggs then hatch into tadpoles after about 3 weeks the tadpole looks like tiny fishes and they also breathe through gills just like the fishes but these tadpoles have a head and a tail but no eyes when they hatch later on it gradually loses its tail and develop hands and legs and then it becomes an adult frog these change of form during the life cycle of an animal where the young one is completely different from the adult is called metamorphosis now we have reptiles so children do you know what a reptile is well we can say that reptiles are animals which have a backbone with dry skin and covered with hard scales or horny plates examples snakes lizards crocodiles turtles etc they lay their eggs on the ground their eggs are similar with that of the birds and have hard shells as most of you must be familiar with turtle and crocodiles we shall see how they reproduce these two reptiles lay their eggs in the sand near the sea or water source after laying the eggs they go back to the water and the incubation is done by the heat of the sun when the turtle baby hatch and come out of their eggs they get to the water by themselves but many could not make it even to the water as they are eaten by birds and other animals and even after making it to the water they are eaten by big fishes in the case of the crocodile the mother carries the baby in its mouth to the water and the babies peek out from the teeth of the mother even all the babies crocodiles don't make it to the adulthood now we shall move on to insects which is the last part of the chapter children do you know that about 75% of all living things on this earth are insects and there are a wide variety of insects we can see many insects even around us in our garden or even inside the home during the day or night so basically an insect is an animal that have wings or antenna and six legs but they don't have back bones all insect lays eggs to reproduce they have hard shelled eggs which are made up of a hard substance called chitin they also undergo metamorphosis as they go through their life cycle at each stage they look very different now let us take the example of a caterpillar which lives in the garden and eats the leaves of the plants well it is a baby butterfly many insects go through a 3 or 4 stage cycle in their life most common example can be made about our butterfly or house fly they have the spore stage cycle in their life as soon as they hatch from the eggs the larva comes out which looks like worm but the larva of the butterfly is known as a caterpillar whereas the larva of the house fly is called maggot 
They are small in size when they hatch, but they go on feeding and become big and fat very fast. After some days, they make a cocoon, which is a silky case made by the larva around themselves. During this stage, they don't feed, they just rest inside the cocoon and undergo transformation. At this stage, it is called as pupa. Then it changes into a butterfly gradually. When the transformation is complete, it bursts out from the cocoon and the butterfly comes out. Other examples of insect are grasshopper and cockroach. These insects have three stages in their life cycle. In case of cockroaches, when the baby hatches and comes out, it is called a nymph and it looks like the adult cockroach. But it shades its skin and gets a new skin many times. The shading of the skin is called molting. And after it undergoes several molting, it finally becomes an adult cockroach. With this, we conclude our chapter on reproduction. So, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.